Hi everybody, welcome to the Waking Moments program. Uh, we're trying different formats to see what works best for viewers. So drop me a line, uh, markallenfrost at gmail.com and let me know which format you like and we'll keep it. This format is going to be very simple. I'm going to quickly bring in Seth. He's going to talk about whatever he wants to talk about. And and that's it. Very simple. So hold on and we'll begin this. Now, um, this project, Waking Moments, um, it's a suggestion, it's a powerful suggestion, I believe, in that we are asking you to identify uh, part uh, of this program as a waking moment, as a momentary awakening, as we also call it, that simply means that you're in charge. Uh, you're in charge of your reality. It is what you say it is. Uh, more precisely, it is what you believe it is. Uh, let me talk a bit about that. Your beliefs determine your reality. Your beliefs act as a type of filter <clears throat> through which you project <laughs> into the third dimension your view of what uh, reality is, what earth life is for you in particular. Now in our latest forecast, um, the Seth forecast for 2019. I adopted a phrase, um, your thought content projection. That's what your world is, a projection of your thought content. Um, the images within your mental landscape, the emotions within your consciousness, the circular thoughts that go around and around uh, in your mind brain. Mm, that is thought content and you project it out and witness it as feedback. Mm, but often you identify it as uh, objective something uh, apart from you, something that you choose to participate in. <laughs> you make it. So that is our first principle here. Uh, you make your world. Uh, here in these messages, we're asking that you expand this belief system of yours to include uh, what might seem uh, as highly unlikely scenarios. Uh, the most highly unlikely, uh, the awakening of humanity. I've been talking about it for many years in my books. Uh, you are awakening at this time. What are you awakening through? Two, you are awakening to the, the truth of your world. Mm, the first truth, your world is a projection from within you. Mm. Now as you sit with this fact for a moment, mm, 
Think of what you could do if you really uh, embodied it, if you really made this concept of you as a reality creator your own. You could do great things. You could improve your life. Uh, you could help improve the lives of others, you see. Uh, it's empowering to coin a phrase. You create your reality. However, let's see uh, what most people do with these godlike powers of creation. Uh, most people create the consensus reality, uh, the average reality, the reality reflected in television news programs, the reality um, reflected in politics, uh, society, religion, you see, the consensus reality. Mm, and so most of you pick up on that take it as your own uh, and believe it as um, the only thing there is. Um, in my new books I'm asking you to confront that and to consider something new. Mm, that your reality uh, is perhaps, in fact, the opposite. It is the opposite of the way you think about it uh, to the nth degree. Mm, in that sense, everything that you think you know is quite likely uh, the opposite. Um, I hope I'm not disappointing you. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what's going on currently with regards to the rollout uh, of this awakening event. Mm, what is going on in terms of uh, specific forecasts I made in the, uh, the forecast for 2019. The first one being that your negative media uh, will fail. Mm, I think it's obvious to most people that it's occurring at this time. Uh, your negative media, the propaganda network that you call uh, the news, television programming, uh, magazines, mm, all types of media. Uh, they are having a hard time of it. Their lies, their manipulations um, are not working. Uh, and in that sense of alarm, uh, they continue to ramp up the intensity in the hopes that you will uh, once again uh, forget that you are uh, a powerful maker of worlds uh, and that you return to your uh, sheep-like reality in which you went along uh, and obeyed. Mm, so they are failing at this time. Uh, you can see it. As you watch, um, my suggestion is to turn to uh, other modes. Mm. Seek out independent broadcasters, uh, those that are attempting to um, portray truth, mm. true stories. Uh, events that are actually occurring, you say, seek them out, support them. 
that will help uh, that will help with the fall of the negative media and uh, the transformation of media generally a media that will reflect what's going on in the world the awakening of humanity you see I also said in my forecast that uh, the gold standard would be resurrected. It is, <clears throat> it is in place currently, and that will be revealed quite soon. Uh, not next year, this year. Uh, not in months from now, uh, but weeks from now. Uh, I was told uh, by some that I should be more specific about um, my prophecies and that is specificity from my perspective. So you can look forward to that. Um, other things you can look forward to in your immediate future uh, are a dramatic change in the way you're uh, perceived by others uh, generally and a dramatic change in the way you see others the other we call it in the books people other than yourself uh, what happens when you wake up? Well, you discontinue this practice of projecting your fears onto other people and identifying them as a threat or, or an enemy. Uh, as you identify them as one of your own, literally, um, it becomes no longer necessary to create enemies. Uh, you're creating friends. Uh, as you look into the eyes of the other, you will see familiarity. Uh, you will see love looking back at you. And so you endorse that uh, out of camaraderie, mm, out of loving understanding, you say. Mm, now, one other thing I'd like to add is um, in my past books I've commented a bit about contact uh, human contact with what are referred to as extraterrestrial uh, entities intelligences uh, briefly Mark explored uh, this domain uh, in several of our books. Uh, we're going to start talking more about these influences uh, from what I call the interdimensional beings. <clears throat> and you can make your own explorations. Uh, you can expand your belief systems uh, enough to hold that thought that there are uh, not <clears throat> enemies, extraterrestrial enemies, uh, but these beings, Gestalt subconsciousness and others that uh, desire contact and are there for guidance uh, in all matters. Hmm. Each of you has a different uh, entourage a collection of these non-physical beings. Mm. And at this time, many people are attempting to identify them uh, because they need guidance at this time. Uh, it's a complex <clears throat> event this awakening when you realize that anything is possible. Mm. And so in that 
sense of liberation from the old ways of doing things, um, my advice is simple. Mm. Keep your thought content projection clean. Uh, keep it loving. Uh, you can do this by avoiding uh, contamination by the negative media. Don't watch the news, you see. Uh, keep your sanctuary intact by thinking about it throughout the day. That simply means that you are uh, ensconced uh, within a protective force field. Let's call it. Um, that nothing can penetrate. Uh, negativity cannot get through. Uh, do you see? How does that feel? I would say that that is very, a very pleasant feeling. And so you keep it intact by thinking about it throughout your waking period. I am protected. Um, I am strong and powerful. Uh, I am protected from uh, negative influence of, influences of any kind. Mm. Keeping the sanctuary intact, you say. Also, as you become um, adept uh, at contacting the non-physical beings, your guides, uh, it could include this aspect of the Seth entity. Um, keep, keep up with these communications and don't let them subside mm. in the sense that now more than ever uh, you need your guides. We need to um, speak with them throughout the day. Mm. Mm. And don't fall back asleep. I'm going to leave it at that and suggest that you um, go to our website uh, and view the next episode. Uh, seven or so days from this date. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Thanks for coming, folks.